We welcome into our Eagles Insider Podcast Studio the great Javon Hargrave. Happy Thanksgiving to you, my man. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Are you a turkey guy? Nah, I don't really. I don't what is it? What is a great? What like? What, I'm talking to a the defensive tackle here. What is a great like sit down and have meal for you? What do you enjoy at the dinner table? Fried chicken, uh, macaroni, uh, sweet potatoes, cornbread, and probably some stuffing. Okay. Um, it sounds very southern to me. Is it, was, did you, <laughs> yeah, from North did, Carolina. Was, was, right. uh-huh. was, was it was it a very southern kitchen in your household when you grew up? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, my grandpa, um, growing up, my grandpa he had his own farm. So honestly, I think it's giving you have everything. It's just really what you what you like because we gonna have everything at the table. We are gonna have the turkey, the <laughs> chitlins, the. The stuff and the dressing. It just depends on what you like. And then the nap afterward, I assume? Oh, yeah, you sleep. Then you get the second plate. You go <laughs> eat again, and you're hey, good. Were you, were, so your grandfather worked on a farm. Were you, uh, did you learn the farmer's world, the farmer's life I, as a kid? I, I hated it. Uh, what is so, it like? I mean, I'm a city boy, so I don't. I have no idea. I mean, you used to, one, you used to go out there. Um, we don't believe in killing those snakes because they want the snakes to kill the, all the other things around. Um, like what? What are snakes killing? That they're, they're killing like the, the, the rats cre- and stuff. The mouses and rats. Okay. The mice and rats. Uh, and when I me, I ain't really do too much because I I uh, I used to go back to my mama's house because I ain't want to be old all the time. But I used to have to clean the horse horse pasture and pick up the hay, try to uh, get the hay barrels, uh, water the cows. Um, but nah, I really I kind of try to stay away from it. Don't reach across the table and sneak me, but are, were you a mama's boy? You were running back? Yeah, like, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was. But, nah, because I, I, I got my hands dirty, but, you know, like I said, my papa used to have us working at, like, yeah. <laughs> six years old or seven years old on that farm, so. That's very cool. I mean, yeah. it certainly teaches you how to appreciate, A, you you eat what you grow, right? Like, there's yeah, no... there's that no, was real. <laughs> That's it's real, real. That's right? That's like, if you don't thing. grow it, you ain't eating. And then number two, hard work. And so is that kind of part of your DNA, Javon, that that's, that's how you grew up, understanding what hard work is all about? I like to say that, but uh, at the time, <laughs> he used to call me lazy because I didn't want to go out there. <laughs> but, yeah, I think that uh, that, that kind of um, developed me into what I do now, um, just all about hard work and uh, putting the work in. What extraordinary athletic skills do you have? Because, I mean, there's a lot of guys who work hard. Like in the world of the NFL, like what are you specifically really special in athletically? Uh, I like to say I um, get off, get off, king, explosive. Um, for, uh, my first step is is up there with every, anybody. First step, and I know how to use my hands real good. Javon, it's interesting the the runs that players get on. Sometimes you'll get a lot of sacks, and sometimes you won't. You're on this run now. What's it like to be out there? When you're on that kind of run, does your mindset change? Now you you kind of get in a little zone, but uh, more so you just try to uh, stay with your technique, just using my hands and not trying to force the play too much and let the play still come to me. And sometimes it it be it be luck, it be skill, it be a little luck, and mm-hmm. it just work out work out good for me. Are you? It, how many moves do you have? I got about a good three or three, three good ones. Okay, so if three I'm an offensive, ones, if I'm an offensive lineman studying you, I'm going all right. I've got three or four moves that I've got to worry about with with you. So, it, so like I'm trying to figure out how do you win? You win by figuring out his weaknesses. You say how do I win? How do you? Yeah, win? Yeah, I, I I look at more so what you what you good at or like some of the things you done struggled at, and then can I put it in my game? Um, so. I'm just during the week. I'm just looking at some things you done lost. You done lost a couple times too, or lost multiple times too, and that's something. If, even if it's like lining up in a certain technique or being able to do that same move um, because you're not comfortable with it, and or learning like, do you not pick up on um, people moving quick, or are you a strong person, or what kind of player you are? Are you gonna jump set me? It's just just. But don't a lot I know? But, but don't I know that that's how you're gonna attack me? Yeah, I mean you do. <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. you 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 really know. Uh, I think all players only got a few moves, so you really know what's happening. But it's kind of hard to get ready for it during the game. Do you have the greatest respect for the guy you're going against during the course of the game? Yeah, I learned that uh, early in the NFL. Just, what was there uh, a particular moment that you, you learned know? That? You just uh, when um, back about my rookie or second year. 
it's just, you know, sometimes the coaches can tell you how bad a person is, uh, but they ain't bad until you play, you make them you make them bad. So I guess I was going up against a guy um, back my rookie. I can't remember who we was playing, but we were just talking about how bad he was, and he kind of got after him. He was he was a whole another person on Sunday, and from then on, it's just like nah, everybody. That's all pro. Yeah, you can never go in. Just can never, can like, never the other guy's bad. Nah, because uh-uh, it's, it's it's a different person on Sunday. Um, the the celebration of um, I kind of just put this together, and maybe I'm wrong. And I was talking with somebody about this, and I forget you told me in the summer, and I forget why you're kicking in the door, where it came from, whose idea it was, I forget. And then I looked in your bio and it says, your first job was making and building windows and doors. Is that why we're doing the kick in the door thing? <laughs> nah, I, I, I give credit with his dude. It was Fletch, it was Fletch. Uh, Fletch, he don't do it much, but he was doing it like in, uh, when he get his TFL sometimes, or he was doing it in practice. And I just started playing around with it in practice when I first got here and just one time in Green Bay, he told me when I got uh, Aaron Rodgers, he told me to do it, and after that, he just it's I just sweet. Took out. Yeah, I just, I just it's took unique. It. Nobody, I, took I I don't do do other do you guys rate like other your friends around the league and how they celebrate? Like, will you call somebody up after they a buddy of yours in the league and go, hey, I like the way you celebrated that whatever? Do you guys do that? Nah, there I don't should think be a rating system nah, like Madden. The Madden rating system should include your celebration after a sack. The kick in the door is great. Yeah, that's a, that's that's it's funny though because we we do everybody got their little thing. So when you get a sack, everybody running to do their thing, and that's you know when you're young, it's hard to do it because you're just happy to get one sack. Like I, I laugh at Milton now because they just get up and scream when they get <laughs> their sack, but I I understand it so. Nah, it's it's fun. It's fun. To do what that. will you do when you score a touchdown? Have mm. you dreamed of this? I scored before, but I didn't do nothing. But just when did yeah. you score a touch- with us? Nah, oh. um, back in my early days. You did, what did you do after you scored? Just yeah, <laughs> the screen. There know. you go. I don't know. I don't know what I do. <laughs> Probably jump in the crowd. 